Hi, it's Allison, and today we are doing an upper body workout, but not just any upper body workout. We're going to be using our mini bands. Yay, I'm so excited. I will be using a medium mini band today. And if you don't have one, no worries. You can do this with light dumbbells or just your body weight. And I'm gonna put that back down because we're gonna get started with a quick warm up. Just warm up the upper body, the chest, the shoulders, the upper back. Then we'll get into our main work. We're gonna have 10 moves today. We work for 40 seconds, we rest for 20 seconds. We're just gonna go through the moves once, then we'll have a nice cool down where we do static stretches, and that's it. Get ready to feel the burn. All right, let's get started with our warm up. So big inhale, circle the arms up and around. Just opening up our shoulders. Remember to breathe. This is three. And last one, four. Reverse, reverse, nice and big. Now throughout this entire workout, I want you to make sure you're remembering, oh, sorry, fig tree that you are not puffing the chest or arching your low back. You wanna keep a very straight back so that you don't hurt yourself. Alignment is super important. Last one. Ah, and then arms out, palms face up, cross, feel that chest, and open, cross, and open. Good, warming up the chest, the pecs. Let's go one more. And arms come down, last warm up move. We're gonna do a Y, a T, I. So we call these Y, T, I arms. Y, T, I, one more, Y, T, and I. Perfect, clasp the wrists, roll them out, reverse, give them a shake. Let's get started, grab your mini band. So for our first move, we're gonna work the pecs and the shoulders. I actually find our first two moves to be the hardest, so we're just gonna get them done out of the way. So what you're going to do is bring the mini band around your wrists. Palms face each other, arms are at shoulder height. You're gonna pulse out on the mini band, keeping tension. You're not gonna flop the wrists, okay? Ooh, we're gonna go in about five seconds, so shake it out, three, two, one, bend the knees, here we go. 40 seconds of just pulsing, keeping the thumbs facing up, the palms facing each other. Remember, do not use your wrists to pull out. You're gonna feel this right up in here in the chest, in those pecs. You're also gonna feel this in the outer part of your arm. Ooh, this one's hard. And remember, no arching. You wanna keep a nice tucked tailbone. Breathe. I think the first two moves are the hardest. We've got eight seconds, we're doing great. A little bend in the knees helps me too so that I don't tuck, so I don't arch my back. And ooh, relax, bring it down. Neck goes side to side. Our next move, you're gonna keep tension on the band. We're gonna go up, ooh, and then back to shoulder height. So we're working now our lats too, the muscles that help bring our arms overhead. And, oh, that 20 seconds is up, here we go. Keep tension on the band. The more you pull on the band, the harder this will be. Remember to breathe. I'm gonna bend my knees a little because I felt myself starting to want to arch my back. That's my weakness. So here's from the side. Feel the chest still, the pecs the armpits now, the lats, and again, still shoulders. I always say in upper body workouts, no matter what, you're always working your shoulders. First two moves are the hardest and we're getting them out of the way. This is the last one. Ooh, bring it down and rest. Ah, roll the shoulders. 
Okay, next one we have a shoulder rotation, external rotation. So you're gonna take your hands and bring them to your, your elbows in towards your, towards your sides. You take your left hand out and in. So what's important here is that you don't use your wrist, okay? You wanna use the inner seams of your arms here and that shoulder blade. Ooh. So this is actually a really common physical therapy move for people who have shoulder surgeries. It's a really basic, good workout move. Feel that shoulder, keep the right arm so still. We're almost there. And I guess you can guess what the next move is. We're gonna do it on the left, breathe and relax. Ah, roll those shoulders. Whew. Neck a little side to side. So we do the exact same thing. We're gonna go on our left side now. So bring those elbows tight. Give me a little bend in the knees. Breathe, shoulders back, chest is open. Two, one, here we go. Now we got our right arm. Ooh. Good. Keep it moving. Keeping tension on the band. The more tension you use, the harder this will be. So you control how intense this is going to be. Ooh, I love mini bands. They're safe. They weigh a lot less than dumbbells, so they're easy to transport with you. And there's just so much you can do with them. Ooh, almost there. Last one, bring it down nice and slow, rest. Okay, so we're gonna remove it now from our wrists. You're gonna take the mini band, bring your thumbs, oops, I'm a little tangled, bring your thumbs on the inside, and you're gonna clasp it, grasp it, and now we're gonna use our left arm, and here we go, we're gonna pull it back and forward. So now we're working our upper back, but we are also really feeling this in our stationary arm, that right arm. Ooh, I'm gonna turn around so you can see that the back of me is working. I'm pulling that elbow nice and back. Ooh. Excellent, left arm is feeling this. Remember, modifications are drop the resistance band. You don't need to use it. Last one, and now out. Ooh, a little rest, breathe. So I'm using medium, there's all different levels. There's light, extra light, medium, heavy, extra heavy. I like a medium for this type of workout. Oh, three, two, one, here we go. Right arm, ooh. Yeah, I like a medium. But as you get stronger, certain moves, you're gonna wanna use a heavier band. Like for instance, today for biceps, I'll stick with the medium, but usually I like to switch it to a heavier band because the biceps are stronger, bigger muscles. Ooh. Are you breathing? Keep tension on the band. Remember, so we're working our upper back and that left shoulder is probably on fire. Bring it down, breathe. So we've worked our chest, we've worked our back, our pecs, our shoulders, we're gonna get triceps now. You're gonna bring the resistance band up towards your left shoulder, hold the band, you're gonna bend into that hinge, and then you're gonna push back and elbow in. So join me and in. Squeeze your glutes, keeping your neck in line with the rest of your back. Your chin is not tucked and it's not looking up. That's dangerous, okay? You wanna keep it nice and straight. Ooh. And then if this hinge is not working for you, modification is to just stand and not, you will still get that tricep. I'm gonna stay with the hinge, pushing my booty back, keeping a flat back. <sighs> Triceps and rest. Excellent. So now we're just gonna switch it over. 
<laughs> okay, switch it over onto the other side. Bring that arm in, bend, hinge forward. And we're gonna go back and in. You've got this. Whew. Triceps. Triceps are small muscles. So I usually like to stick with medium for triceps because they are smaller muscles. So they can't hold as much. <laughs> So yeah, we're really getting the total upper body workout today. Triceps, chest, upper back, shoulders, the works. After this, we've got biceps and then we're done. Everyone's favorite. And rest. Come on up for biceps. You're going to bring the band to your right hip. Hold it in your left hand. Keep that elbow nice and glue to your side like we did in those external shoulder rotations. And then you're just gonna curl up and down. I'm gonna show you from the side. So now an important thing here is that you don't bend your wrist. You're using the bicep. You're not using your wrist here. And up. Up. Whew. And then the other arm is also working because it's pulling back, trying to keep everything else nice and still. So the stationary arm throughout this entire workout is always getting in a little extra. One more, one more curl. Excellent, bring it down. Switch, bring it over to that left hip, hold it in that right hand. And then again, it's up and down up and down we go in five seconds breathe this is our last move and here we go up and down really focus on keeping that elbow touching your side breathing so that 40 seconds on 20 seconds off 10 moves all with our resistance bands, our mini bands, so fun. And let me know if you like working out with the mini bands and I can show you core workouts and lower body workouts too. They're so versatile, there's so much you can do with them. After this, we'll head into our cool down, a couple of stretches, Ooh, and breathe, let it go. Put the mini band down, our right, hair roll the wrist, Three, two, one, and reverse them. Three, two, one. Open the arms up, right arm across, left arm tucks under, relax that right shoulder. Feel it all across the shoulder and the arm. Active hands, none of this. <laughs> and just breathe. So I like to hold my static stretches for about 30 seconds. Our muscles are warm. They're ready for this. They're elongated. This is the time for them to stretch. Stretching is just as important as everything else we just did. Keep breathing, pushing that shoulder down. Three, two, one. Open it up. Ah, left arm across, right arm tucks under. A left shoulder blade comes down. Active hands. Really feel it. Ooh, nice. After this, we'll get the triceps. Just breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, open back up nice and slow. Left hand behind, grab that left elbow for that tricep. Here it is from the back. You want to keep your neck forward. Try not to look down if you can. It'll help you get a better stretch. Oh, I love this one. And remember, no puffing or arching. Keep it nice and neutral. 10. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms come up, right hand, and grab that right elbow. Breathe, you're here, you made it. I'm sweating. So I really felt that in the shoulders a lot, but we did get a total upper body from the chest to the upper back to the lats. I mean, we crushed it. I'm so proud of everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms come up, gently let them go. Let's stretch the chest, open up, big stretch, look up. Remember, don't arch your low back. Feel it all across. We really worked the stretch, especially in those first two moves. Tell me, let me know if those were hard for you too. I always find those two moves extra hard. <sighs> Breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, gently let it down. Last stretch for the neck because I hold a lot of tension in my neck, especially when I'm doing upper body workouts. So bring your left hand on top of your head, left ear towards shoulder, hand, right hand faces in. Oh, I cracked. And gently feel this all along the right side of your neck, even maybe down into your arm. Breathe. Our necks need a lot of love. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently come up, switch, left hand down, right ear towards right shoulder. Feel this along the left side of your neck. Ah, I'm feeling so relaxed now. <laughs> Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently come back up, let that go. And that's it. Amazing work. We got a really nice warm up. We worked the entire upper body with resistance using our minivan and then had a great cool down with static stretches. Thank you so much for joining me on this fitness journey. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Remember to like and subscribe. All right, thanks everyone, bye.